this is Asumi J. And this is Shahid. And we're here in downtown Toronto trying to raise awareness for Gaza. So we'll be asking passerbys their opinions and reactions on what's happening in Palestine. What if, let's say, you decide to send your kids out to the beach? And the next thing you know is that your kids are being bombed. And you've lost all four kids in one day. How would you feel about that? How would anybody feel? I would be devastated. I'd be completely devastated. Obviously, I would feel devastated. So, and I... I don't know, since I don't have kids, I can't really say what I'd feel, but it would be a devastating loss, for sure. Totally devastated. Having lost my grandpa before, I've seen the effect it has not only on the family, but also on the everyone that has known him, his friends, the community, and it, everyone has their story. And it's, it's a life lost, it's memories lost, it's knowledge lost. It's a lot more than just a life. Can I show you a short video clip? It's a little bit graphic, but it's just to show you what's happening that hasn't been shown in the media. Sure, go ahead. So these were four children that went out to play, and they were targeted by Israeli missile. And a game of soccer turned into this, sadly. that a man would do something like that just for no reason snuff people out he should be on the ground with them this is not shown in the news and you know this is why the awareness of people in Canada and, and the states is is just limited I wish there was more that the Canadians could do how does that make you feel, seeing something like this where innocent children, they're just going out to play a game of soccer and then they become the targets of a genocide? Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I've, I've made it um, my cause to try to go out and look for things like this on the internet because I don't think news covers it properly. And I also think, especially here um, in the West, that there's a bit of a bias. So the United States always um, sides with Israel on everything. Therefore, the way they present the news will side with them as well. I think it's uh, absurd and uh, it's a really great uh, hate and a crime of humanity. And uh, I don't really need to see the video because I can imagine the things and when war is happening, those thing, kind of things are frequent and they must stop. Palestine does not have a big air force. It does not have a big navy. It doesn't even have a navy or an air force. It doesn't have a, a ground troop with tanks and, and thousands of soldiers in there that can invade Israel. I believe it's ridiculous when the military to civilian ratio is so skewed to where they're actually bombing areas where it's all civilians. So I think it's very unjust and very wrong. We have a very different um, understanding of loss of human life when it happens within our borders or within Western borders. We have, a, we, have a, we have this tendency to put Western life on a pedestal and not to see, not to value life in other parts of the world the same way that we value life in, say, North America or Europe. The other day I posted some articles that I, my friends had posted, I reposted them on Facebook, and then one of my Jewish friend's moms commented like, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about, that, or, because I said that it's a good article, we should read it, and then she said, the Israelis are doing nothing but helping out these people, giving them water, jobs, all these things. You don't know what's going on. And I was like, really? How do you think that we'd be able to, do you think we can help to put an end to this? Or what needs to be done to put an end to this? I think right now we should mobilize the youth into, into actually doing something and educating them into making a difference and not just not doing anything. Well, the saying that goes, evil only prevails when good people fail to act, is what's happening upon us right now. Something very simple as, even something as simple as mobilizing yourself just enough to go out and vote during election period, for example. And you look at parties, for example, we know that the Harper, the, Canadian, the current uh, Harper government has, is the first government in the history of the country to openly 
have um, have an unconditional support for Israel in its policy, which is something never before seen in uh, Canadian politics before. You can just strike, strike and talk to the media and talk everywhere, like put things on YouTube, on Vimeo's, like on, online, you know, just try to talk and make people aware of what's happening. And that's the only thing we can do as civilians, otherwise people who are living there, they have to fight for their they have to, to protect their kids, their children, you know, it's, it's not easy, like you find a family lost all the kids. What does it mean? It doesn't make sense. I think awareness is the most important thing because the more people know and the more truth that is revealed, the more people are going to care. And I think we just all need to care and all need to help out in whatever way we can. Well, I would inspire anybody to, you know, if you have an opinion, if you have something to say, if you have a, if you have a view on how justice can be carried out and how we can stop injustices like this from happening on a regular basis while the world does nothing but bat an eye and watch, then get involved, do something. Even the smallest contribution helps. The Palestine-Israel conflict has been going on for about seven years now and as a result of that there is about seven million Palestinians outside of their homes, including myself. So how do you feel about this and what do you tell to all these Palestinians that are watching us being caged in Gaza right now as a, as a, a board of hope? What do you say to all these people? Not to give up and uh, you know that other people from other countries are behind them and trying to you know raise awareness and, and from people, groups like yourself, uh, hopefully we'll uh, get them out of this, uh, this misery. I feel like it's not fair because I have a friend who's, who's Palestinian and he's considered stateless. So that's not fair, especially that he's Palestinian and, and that the world re leaders and everyone is not doing anything about it. Live, live in dignity. Live your life freely. Don't, don't do this to people aimlessly because you're just, you're only hurting yourself and nobody else. I am a Palestinian. But I am not, because you only need to be human. To stand up for what's right. It's time to make a difference. It's time to stop the genocide. We stand in solidarity. For the people of Palestine. End the siege. End the occupation. Share the message. Let's make a difference. Together. Together.